So I, I didn't uh, plan uh, to do this actually, but because I was um, uh, just by the lake there, I, um, uh, I, I could see Rue de Rhone. Now this is the, uh, the road that I, I, I forgot to name uh, yesterday, but uh, uh, this is like uh, your, uh, your boulevard of, uh, of all the big watch brands. And uh, I could see IWC um, through uh, the, uh, uh, the walkway here. And uh, IWC actually you know, brought me in. Now, uh, I videoed uh, IWC yesterday in Bukhara. And um, uh, you know, obviously, they are a, a super brand. Uh, but for me, they're also the brand of the, uh, of the pilot watch. And uh, I can see that the, uh, the model that they, uh, that they have in the window, I believe that's the, the new release, uh, the new uh, Watches and Wonders release of the uh, Ingenieur. And as you can see, uh, what a super watch. You know, that really is. You know, even this graphic in the window is, uh, is lovely. Look at that. And, um, yeah, uh, again, IWC for me has always been the pilot watch, but, um, but this uh, Ingenieur um, uh, has gained a lot of popularity recently, uh, and this is the, uh, the answer to that, and uh, it is absolutely super. Uh, look at that. Now, as I arrive, everybody else seems to, so <laughs> I feel like I'm in the way, but uh, I was quite impressed with this uh, shop window. Anyway. Um, uh, there's lots of people here, so I'm going to spin around and walk up uh, 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 Rue de Rhone. And uh, of course, we've got Graf here. I mean, this is uh, you know one of the, uh, the the top jewelry brands in Switzerland. You know, this is absolutely high end uh, high end stuff. Look at that. Now, I'm not a jewelry expert, but uh, uh, you could, these are marvelous pieces. Look at that absolutely lovely um, I don't want to uh, annoy people and uh, go up and down but uh, anyway so we have um, IWC over there we have Graf here and if we go further uh, we're probably going to see everybody else and uh, of course we've got JLC so yeah I'm going to walk across and uh, to JLC why not um, okay <laughs> it's busy it certainly is, and uh, we have the uh, the watches and wonders uh, uh, detail here, uh, signifying it's uh, uh, the uh, watches and wonders week, and uh, you know GLC. I mean, look at this shop. Uh, Lake Geneva is just over there, and uh, it's brothers and sisters, uh, IWC, Graf, and all the names Omega. Uh, Louis Vuitton, everybody else that, uh, that you know of, uh, they are all here. Now, people seem to have left, so uh, there are less people. Uh, so look at these. Now, you know, I'm not um, that knowledgeable about JLC. I've always known uh, JLC um, for their, uh, their tank watches, um, uh, for, for the, the, the square watches, uh, for the reversos. And uh, I'm sure that um, hopefully I will you know, see one of those. But um, you know, without me saying, uh, you probably know that you know, all about it. Here we go, the Reverso. Uh, now this for me is the, uh, is the wristwatch, um, it is the GLC that you would go for. So if you are interested in GLC and watches, um, the next thing that would happen is that you'd want, <laughs> you'd want to buy one of these. They are absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I've actually said to people in the past that you know, if they don't find themselves being attracted to Rolex or they have a Rolex, but they like the idea of JLC, uh, uh, the Reverso is, a, is what you go for because it has a square case. Um, I think it's called a, a, a tank case, the, the Reverso. And, um, but that visual part of it is obviously very different uh, to uh, the round case of, for example, a Rolex. So, you know, visually it is instantly different and uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Look at that. So, you know, this is uh, 
JLC once again. You can see that I'm spending all my time uh, uh, filming these reversos because uh, they are, uh, they are, they're just so good. They really are. And I'm going to zoom out there and see if I can capture uh, the, the shop again and uh, the feeling of, you know, what it's like to be here. And uh, once again, I'm on uh, Rue de Rhone and, uh, you know, th this is the, the watch boulevard of Switzerland. This, this is where, um, if you are a, a high-end uh, Swiss watch brand, you know, you come here. And, uh, it's, you know, obviously it's a nice shop. And, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I seem to be, wherever I go, there seems to be people. But, uh, yeah, once ago, JLC. Now, I think what I will do is uh, I'll spin and I'll continue to go up Rue de Rhone. I'm probably going to find every, you know, every Swiss brand along here. Now, I know that Bucherer is uh, a little further on, the, on the, the left. Ah, and of course, we've got Zara here, uh, next door to JLC. You know, that's, quite, that's one heck of a, of a neighbour, really, isn't it? Uh, and uh, oh, and across the road you've got uh, Louis Vuitton. You know what a street to be on. And Cartier, just across the road. How cool is that? Lake Geneva once again, and uh, that very very cool restaurant, uh, La Custra. I've probably really butchered. Uh, uh, the pronunciation <laughs> of that, but never mind. Now, okay, because we've got some building works here. Oh, hold on. I'm going to have to come back and uh, go to Roger Dubuis. Let me uh, just fly in there. There we go. Uh, Roger Dubuis. Now, I don't know that much about Roger Dubuis, but of course I do recognize the name. And, um, and I know that the build quality of these watches is impeccable. And uh, you, yeah, straight away, uh, the, the Excalibur here. Uh, that is marvellous. That is really, really super. Look at that. Anyway, Roger de Bouy. So let me, oh, Bulgari, here we go. Now, um, I was in Bukhara yesterday, and uh, uh, from memory, I'm sure I filmed uh, the, the Octo de Finissimo. And uh, so uh, I, I will have more video of Octos. And, uh, it's a cool watch. Uh, initially, I thought it was too thin, but um, I understand now that uh, it does have strength in the, in the very thin case that it has. So, um, you know, its thinness is, is part of its appeal. So there you go. Right, let me go a little bit further. And of course, we have uh, uh, Fendi and uh, Dior, of course. Uh, look at that. This lovely, lovely place. Look at that. Super, next door to Fendi. And uh, yeah, I mean, so you can imagine that, um, you know, every shop and boutique along here is, you know, houses at something high end. I mean, it sort of makes sense, doesn't it? Bove, yeah, look at that. Now, this glass is uh, very uh, difficult to film on. I am. Um, uh, Angelus, I, I recognize um, uh, that name. And uh, those watches look very nice. I would be very interested to see those. Uh, Arnold of Sun, of course. No, really super. Well, I mean, all these watches are super, really. You know, for, for a watch to be uh, granted a position in, uh, in a window on a Rue de Rhone, you know, it's going to be fabulous, really. So it goes without saying that these watches are super, and they really are. But what I may do is uh, I'll go a little further, and hopefully I'm not uh, uh, boring you with uh, a walk along the street. But uh, and of course we've got Hermes across here, and uh, uh, if you're into leather goods and. Uh, 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 straps for watches. Uh, of course, Hermes is uh, the very top of all that. It is super. And uh, there you go. Hermes, next door to Patek Philippe, next door to Chanel, next door to uh, Bucherat. In fact, you know, without me thinking about it, it's instantly occurred to me, we've got the, uh, the, 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 
the terrible four here. We have Hermes, Patek, uh, Chanel and Bucara. You know, these are all super high-end brands, uh, all next door to each other. How cool is that actually? And the other side of these buildings, of course, is Lake Geneva. Um, so, you know, imagine working here. Uh, every lunchtime, you've got Lake Geneva uh, to face uh, with, your, with your lunch or pop out for a coffee. And a Rolex, of course. Now, there's a Rolex hoarding there, and I'm, uh, and I'm pretty sure that uh, Rolex is on the other side of, of these buildings here. Uh, so some go all the way through, but, you know, once again, we've got Bucara, uh, Chanel, uh, Patek Philippe, and Hermes. How cool is that? This is Rue de Rhone. Uh, you are in the uh, you know, center of the uh, uh, high-end uh, Swiss brand uh, street in, in Geneva. And of course, we've got Jacob & Co here. And uh, yeah, look at that. And uh, yes, I went to his um, uh, launch party uh, the other evening and uh, uh, it was super. Uh, th there's a video of that. Um, the, uh, uh, the new release, uh, the, uh, the billionaire timepiece. I, I always forget the name. I, I do apologize. Uh, the, um, uh, the timeless... Uh, uh, anyway, it's, it's one of my videos. It's, uh, it's gold uh, with um, encrusted diamonds uh, with uh, uh, green I, I, emeralds, I believe. Absolutely marvelous. And uh, it's a piece unique, so there's only one of them. So, of course, it, it's not in this window. I'm not sure you could stick uh, a watch worth 20 million pounds in a window like this. But there you go, Jacob & Co. How cool is that? And Hublot. And, of course, we are once again across the road uh, from Bukhara. And I'll let that, that bus uh, pass by. So there you go. Brilliant.